least we now know <laughs> that the banks are doing better and that the auto companies loading. are doing better, which ultimately is good for us and our children because right. they can pay us back. Okay, we'll see. We'll see if we get any of our uh, bailout money back yeah, ever the, in, the, the point in the long is, term. The point I just think is, we're leaving a big whole mess of debt for yeah, them to deal with Yeah, but here's the thing. If your kids make a big mess, okay? Let's say you've left them to play in the playroom and they you go in there you know it's going to be a mess, a big mess but they've right. been quiet okay at some point you're going to have to clean up the mess it's not so going to be fun. So that's what's going to happen after this bailout is finished. No, We're going to no, have no, to no. go in the playroom no, and start no. picking up those no. toys. The point is Wall Street acted like spoiled brats. Okay, but as moms. They need a spanking. They needed a spanking. So that they could be. They got greedy and it right. cost us all our shirts. Right, but okay, let's use this Unhappy. as a perfect analogy. Yes. So they acted like spoiled brats. So you could spank them as right. a mom. They right. probably deserved it, right? Or we could take a teaching moment, which would be the mature thing to do. And you could say, as a parent, right if you let their behavior get out of control and your children are acting like spoiled brats, yeah. well, then you as a parent you have are to reinforcing their... that behavior. So how do you change that behavior? You set new boundaries and then you have consequences, right? We could have spanked them, but that would have like been a short-term fix. We needed to create a long-term fix and a long-lasting fix. Good analogy. Because sometimes when you spank your kids, it hurts you more than it hurts them, right? Yes, I don't know. I would never spank a child. <laughs> anyway, we'll be here next Monday on Oh Mama Monday.